Hi, this is Kathy Quinn with Floriani. Floriani is a division of R&K Distributing, and I want to welcome you to this week's Project of the Week. Well, I'm very excited because I have been given the go-ahead to show our new craft and cut software that is just now hitting the market. I'm so excited because I have had a cutter, whether it's a cameo, a silhouette, a brother scan and cut, I've had a cutter here for quite some time, but the fear factor has kept me from not using it because I really didn't understand not only what all they could do, but there would look like so many variables and how was I going to know what was right. So with our Scan and Cut software, Miss Hope Yoder, we have partnered with her and she has put uh, videos in there in the box to show you how to create these applications. She's also put some software lessons in the box. You're going to get 256 of her designs in this box. So it's really exciting with the Craft and Cut software. And remember, Floriani, we're at Machine Agnostics. We love everybody. Whether you have a silhouette, a scan and cut, a cameo, to us it's all the same just so that you can use them. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up a mat. Now, I want you to notice over on the left-hand toolbar, you have a mat icon. Now, this to me was wonderful because it gave me a place to start. Now, you'll notice it's picked Cameo 12 by 12. The mats are 12 by 12. You can also create your own if you need to. But this is just fine for, for me right now. So I'm going to apply this, and this is the mat I have chosen. Now, with a cutter, you're you working with artwork. Now, of course, Floriani software, this will allow you to bring in a design if you want to add some a design and maybe add some rhinestones to it or something. You can do all of that in this software. But I just want to today go through just a little basic how to cut vinyl lesson. So I'm going to come, the first thing I'm going to do is, of course, any of our artwork designs will work in here. Or, of course... I, like I told you, Hope has given us all kinds of stuff, and I have saved Hope on my desktop. So let's go see Hope Yoder's Craft and Cut Designs. Let's see if this is the right folder. It sure is. And if I go into her, her SVG files, now notice nothing came up. Why? Because I went to open a design. I want to make this real clear. We're not working with a design. We are working with artwork. So how would we do that? We would say file, import artwork. Whoops, I hit design. File, import artwork. So I'm going to go to import artwork. Now when I go to my Hope Yoder designs, and I go into these SVG, you can see all the designs Hope has given us. And she's given us so many fun designs. And the cool thing about this, for this, in, in fact, this is a uh, very good example. She has an application video that shows you how, after you've cut this, how to weed it, how to put it on an object, how to work with all of this. So you're going to have application videos that show you how to complete a project, which I think is phenomenal because I have learned a ton. But so you can go through and see there's all kinds of stuff here that Hope has given us in this design. But I'm going to come in here and just work today with some of our custom shapes because, of course, they are artwork files. And what I'm going to do is I made a whole bunch of labels. I thought it was so cool. And what I did first is I came in and I got my cloud. Now I got my cloud and see I can see my mat so I can see where to place these things. And I just copied, well, I don't know what I just did, but undo is always my friend. Oh, I see. I turned on my little. Undo is always my friend. Copy. Paste. Now I'm just going to bring me another. I'm making, I'm making labels because you know what I found at Hobby Lobby? I found chalkboard vinyl that I can write on. So this is so cool. So what I did is I came in and made me a bunch of labels. And I just filled it up with every shape I could think of that I might use. So I went in and I got the dog, put him in for the dog food label, 
and you get the idea. I can bring in as many as I wish in here. Now once I've brought this in, I can fill my mat up or I can just cut one corner. It doesn't matter. I don't have to fill it up. But since I was making a bunch of chalkboard labels, I thought it would be fun to just fill them all up. But here is what I absolutely love. Now once I've got everything in here and I've placed it where I want it, I can say File, Save to Cut. This is the most awesome thing. Now I happen to have a brother scan and cut. So now I'm going to tell it what I'm cutting. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to come down to Vinyl. Now once I have Vinyl, it's told me the recommended mat size for this is my 12 by 12. I'm going to go to Next. And now it's going to tell me this is where I am just over the moon. It tells me I'm using vinyl. My blade depth should be at 2.75. I should have my cut speed at 3, my blade pressure at 1, and my number of passes at 1. So now I can put all those settings into my cutter. And I know it's going to cut the vinyl right. It's going to cut it correctly for my brother's scanning cut. I think this is just absolutely amazing. And if you'll notice, here's the application video. So if you want to watch Hope go through this, you've got an application video where she's shown you what she's done. Now if there's any special instructions, notice it's here. You can go to YouTube and see if you're doing layered designs. So now when I go to Next, it's told me everything and I finished. So now I have got everything I need and I can now name this and save this. And notice it picked FCM. Why? Because I told it I was using a brother scan and cut. So now I can label this and I'm going to put it labels and then I'm going to save it to my jump drive and plug it into my brother scan and cut and then I will put my vinyl onto my mat set my settings like save to cut told me to and I will have a perfect cut every time. I am so excited about this. I have been cut a cutting maniac since I got this. Let's do a new one. I'll show you what I did that I was so excited and of course I did it because of Hope's videos. I came in and remember file import artwork. Now that I'm importing artwork, I'm going to go back to my Hope Yoder. I'm going to go to my SVG designs and I'm going to go to the flag heart. I love this. So I'm going to open this up. There is my flag heart. Now this is done. This is layering vinyl. So I've got three colors of vinyl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my first piece. I'm going to select it and I'm going to move it. I'm going to grab my second piece and I'm going to move it. And I'm going to grab my third piece. You notice I'm selecting it under the layers. Remember this isn't a sequence view now. This is layers because we're cutting layers of vinyl. So now I'm going to place all of this on my mat. Now these, are, these markings are exactly the same as our matte markings. So we know where to place our white vinyl, our red vinyl, and our blue vinyl. Then I'm going to go ahead and save this to cut. It'll cut out my three pieces. Then I will go to my Hope Yoder video on multi-layer vinyl and she will show me exactly how I'm going to put this together. This is so exciting. You cannot imagine. So let's go File, Save to Cut, right? We're going to go to Save to Cut, if I can get my mouse to work. So there's my Save to Cut. Again, I am using Vinyl, and I'm going to go to Next. Of course, I have these. Now, if I want to see an application video when, multi, when cutting multi-layer designs, I'm going to go right here and bring up the video. So I can bring up the video and Hope will show me exactly as soon as I cut this she's going to show me how to take it off the mat, how to use my transfer tape, and how to put this together perfectly. 
I have done all kinds of stuff these last two weeks since I got this software. It is so much fun. Now, let's look at one other quick thing. I don't want to overwhelm you because this is our first look at the software. But let's say I want to do, I'm going to do a monogram. And again, file, import artwork. You're going to have to get used to that. Now I'm going to come back up and I'm going to do circle monograms by Hope. She gave us all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to do, this is my center, so I need a Q. Okay, now I'm going to file, import artwork. I'm going to go back up and now I need my left. And I'm going to get a G. And now I'm going to come back and file import artwork. And I'm going to do my right. And I'm going to do a K. Open. OK, so now I'm just going to come in here and I'm going to move this over. I'm going to grab my G. I'm going to move my G over till I like it. Okay, I'm going to leave a little space in between. And I might just nudge it out a little bit. So I like that. So now I'm going to cut the vinyl for this. Now I can cut sticky vinyl. I can do heat transfer vinyl. I mean, there is just so much you can do. But now I want to do some rhinestones. So I'm going to come in and grab my rhinestone here. And I'm going to get a single rhinestone. And I can pick which size I want. And I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to set this down. Now I've got one rhinestone here. So now I'm going to select that rhinestone. And I'm going to go to my circle template. And I'm going to say I want, say, let's try 50. I think that's what um, Hope does in her video. OK. So now I can come in here and I can put my rhinestones around it. Now I could make this smaller, bigger, however. But now I can cut for rhinestones. And Hope will show you exactly. This is the same exercise she does in her video how to cut for rhinestones. So I could come in here and say file, save to cut. And then I could come in and see what I'm doing. Pick it, go. Flocked heat transfer vinyl is what we use to do our rhinestones and Hope will explain that to you. But so you can see how I can do this very, very simply. Now again, it's going to tell me blade depth four, cut speed three, pressure zero, number of passes one. Now, if you want to see how to do stuff, of course, watch her videos. But you are going to find that this is absolutely amazing. We have added wordplay in here as well. So you can cut out a vinyl wordplay. There is so many uh, materials you can cut out of. Now, of course, don't forget applique. Because if you want to bring in an applique design, you can do that as well. We'll save that for another week. But I want you to look at your shops now for craft and cut software. Of course, there will be an introductory special on it. So you want to make sure you get in for that. Plus, you can use your cutters that you've bought and may be sitting aside because of fear. And this has completely negated all my fear. Hope has done an absolutely amazing job in teaching us step by step with her videos. So I look forward to seeing you again next week. I hope you enjoyed this week's new craft and cut software. I look forward to seeing you soon. Have a great day.